Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna do a little unboxing. So I purchased this about five days ago. Uh, I ordered it. It came in uh, two, or two days, I believe, maybe three. This is gonna definitely help out at Sam's and along the roadside. So let me uh, start unboxing this thing and uh, we'll see what we got here. So we're gonna start off with the lighter of the two boxes. Should have brought a knife out, I guess. Holy smoke. All right. First, you guys might know what this is. Let me get the rest of this stuff out of the box and uh, we'll open the rest of these boxes. All right. So you guys know what this is. It's a tree cone. So you guys might already know what I got. Let's see what's in this box. Rope wiser. Two carabiners. Empty box next box I'll explain this later but there's a bracket here's a strap that goes with it and instructions Pretty self-explanatory. Another box out the way. Rope. 50 meters. I think it's like 164 feet. rope bag I'll explain this later another plate that you put around the ball another carabiner snatch block another carabiner And, what are they calling this? A grab hook, tree saver, a bag, and a box in a box. Yeah. Instruction manual. Another length of polyester strap and the main attraction is a PCW 4000. So, if you guys don't know, what this is it's a capstan winch capstan has been around for a long time especially in the marine industry uh for pulling up uh anchors and all that good stuff but uh this one is gas powered by a 50 cc honda engine i think this is a gx 50 so nice small engine pretty lightweight I think it's 25 pounds there is a smaller one this is the PC 3000 and then there's a larger one which has the same pulling capacity as this does is the PC 5000 so this has the size of a PC 3000 
but the pulling capability of a PCW 5000, which is awesome. I, I actually got the hunting kit. I ordered this separately. Now you can get this with the forestry kit, but the forest or the hunting kit came with this bracket that I can put around my ball hitch on a truck and and pull with that. So this is basically the same bracket as that just attached to this apparatus that straps around a tree. So I got a few ways to attach it. And you you can also attach it with this. We'll go over that in a different video. This is basically an unboxing and uh, see what all I got here. So let me get everything straightened out here and we'll go over pretty much everything. All right, like I was saying, I purchased the hunting kit, which comes with everything right here. The transport bag, the rope bag, this little hook with a couple chain links on it, snatch block, two uh, carabiners, this plate, this uh, rope has a little spike on it for getting under a log or under an animal to uh, be able to cinch it fast and pull it out of the woods. This is just a tree saver for hooking up your uh, winch. The rope, it's 164 feet and should be plenty for what I need. If not, I can always buy a longer rope or figure out a way to make this longer with stuff I already have. So let's get this bag open and this bag open and we'll uh, get the rope in the bag. I'll show you how to do that. Nice rope bag. This is their smaller bag. So we'll see how the 164 foot of rope fits in it. Very important to go through the center of the rope because everything is wrapped up pretty nicely right now. We'll throw that down, find the strand in the middle, which is right here, okay. Take one of these carabiners, hook it to my belt loop, like so. And you run the rope through the carabiner. This way, you have a good pull point. Let me get you set up, I'll put the bag on the ground and we'll feed this rope into the bag. So like I was saying, run it through your belt loop, or you could actually run the rope through your belt loop, but use a carabiner and you can just pull it in. Now the way this is wrapped from factory, it should come off the reel or off the pile of rope here without snagging. The reason for doing it this way, so you don't get it all snagged up inside there. So as you pull your rope out to use it, it comes out nice and evenly without snagging or, or getting into a knot. Seems like this is working out pretty well. Tap the bag every now and then, get the rope down in there. There we go. There's the end. You can actually bring the end through this little little guy here. Tie a little knot in it so it doesn't go in there and you can't, you don't lose it. There's the rope in the bag. Very nice. Next thing we're gonna do is get the travel or transport bag opened up here. Start tossing stuff in it. Nice big bag here. Nice carrying handle. There's also a shoulder strap. So the rope bag does not go in here, but it has a bunch of pouches. So we can get all our carabiners in here. Get the one off my belt loop. These extra two I bought. There we 
There's those. This I gotta get on the rope. I'll probably do that in another video. Because I actually have to look up the video myself to see how to do it. I kind of remember how to do it, but not quite sure. Winch plate. I'll put that in one of the side pouches here. The other winch plate probably fit in the side pouch also. Throw the strap in there with it. And then this thing should fit in here. Probably should have put this in there before all the other crap. There it goes. We got this strap can go in there. This strap can go in there. This strap can go in there. Or I could put them in the side pouch over here. I said this goes on the end of the rope. So I'll throw that in there for now. That's pretty much it, fellas. There we go, guys. Portable winch in a bag. Throw it on your shoulder, throw it in the truck. It's ready to go. Obviously, the big cone is not gonna fit in the bag. Like I said, guys, this is a PCW 4000, and you're gonna see it in many videos to come. But uh, I just wanna do a little unboxing for you guys, just to show you what I got. I'm sure there's a bunch of you guys that are gonna be as excited as I am to uh, get to use this thing on the roadside logging adventures and up at Sam's when we're taking down some trees up there for his use. Like I said, guys, I'm pretty anxious to use this thing. Uh, who knows, I might even get at it today, uh, possibly go down the roadside and get something done, but uh, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, guys, that's all I have for today. So if you like this type of stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, tell one of your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one.